Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? I want to go ahead and apologize for my son playing in the background. I got my baby down, but sometimes they just don't want to go to sleep together. So, he'll be in the background. A few of y'all have asked for me to do an eyebrow tutorial. So I thought that I would go ahead and do that for you today. It does look like I have pretty good eyebrows, but I don't. Not at all. If you look closely, eh, they're very, very sparse. I started tweezing my eyebrows, I believe, in junior high. And I tweezed them in this, like, tadpole shape. And I don't even know what I've been thinking for all these years. But I've been trying to grow them out. And it's just not going very well. They just don't want to grow. So I have come up with, like, a method of filling them in that works pretty well. Uh, it's my way of faking my eyebrows. So I have a few products that I want to go ahead and show you that I've tried in the past that just didn't work for me. And uh, then I will jump into the video and show you the products that do work for me. Okay, so let's just get started. This is the NYX or NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil. This is in medium brown. I believe I bought this when I had brown hair. Um, it looks like this. This is just, it has too much red in it, like the has red undertones. I'll show you. Uh, it doesn't really, like until I compare it to another one. Um, that's a bad swatch. But it's, it's just... It just didn't work. It was like it didn't go on as smoothly as I would want it to, and it kind of like tugged at my eyebrow. So this was a no. Uh, then I have this one. It's the Maybelline New York Master Shape by Eye Studio, and I got it in the color blonde. And it's nice that it has the little spoolie on the end, but for starters, it is impossible to sharpen. It is like look, I've tried to sharpen this thing, and it's just it's awful. Uh, I, I just don't like it. It, it doesn't look like a bad color, but here you can see the, how the, this one has much more red in it, but this is the Maybelline one. I, I just don't like it. It's waxy. I don't recommend this one. I picked up the Revlon Brow Fantasy in dark brown. It has, what's nice about it is it has this gel, you know, like a setting gel on one end, but it's kind of expensive for a drugstore. I believe it was like eight bucks, and I didn't even think about it at the time, but you get like, well, you know, not very much product at all. Like, you're going to go through your pencil way faster than you go through uh, the, the gel. So, if it wasn't for that, then I would say... You know, it's a, it's a decent product, but I didn't repurchase this. I'm not going to repurchase this. I also have this Cover Girl. Yeah, Cover Girl Perfect Point. Pl oh, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and show you the swatch of that if I can get any out. Yeah, I can't. It's hard. It's almost empty. Yeah, that's not very good. Sorry, guys. But back to the Cover Girl. This one is the Perfect Point Plus, and I know I have this one when it was brown. Um, and it's an espresso, and it was just way too dark. So I'm not real sure how I feel about it, because, other than the fact that it was too dark and it looked completely unnatural, even when I had dark brown hair. Um, here it is right here. It might be better for someone with, like, I don't even know. It just didn't look good on me. So this was a negative for me, not... Not so much the product, but the uh, the color. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you the products that I really do like. Oh, I okay. use the Milani uh, Easy Brow Auto Pencil Water Resistant in Natural Taupe. This is, it is just perfect. It's perfect for people with blonde hair. It is creamy. It blends on so nicely. That's the color. I broke the cap. But it looks like this, and it has a spoolie, which I absolutely love the spoolie on the end. Um, highly recommend this pencil. Use it every day. He's talking on the phone. 
use it every day. Um, I just love it, and I've already repurchased one. Uh, they are cheaper if you can find them at like Walmart's or whatever. At CVS, you can get them. Sometimes they're buy one get one half off, but at CVS they're like eight bucks, which you know. It's, I think it's worth it just because I've tried so many and I just absolutely love this one. As far as like setting, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you this because you know once you use clear or mix it in the brown it kind of gets gross looking. But these are a dollar and they're not, it's not the best by any means. I'm sure that Anastasia or Anastasia is much better. I have not bitten the bullet and spent that much money on a brow gel. So for a dollar, this works for me. Um, and I also love the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. It looks like this. It is just a really nice color. This is a powder. And that's a wax. I don't really use the wax, but the, the color is really good. I bought it actually. Oh, and this is in medium. I bought it to replace my MAC eyeshadow that I've used forever and I still love this but you know these are well now they're 10 Mac drop the price but this is the color cork and I use that I use it exclusively for brows and I've gone through a couple of them um it's just it's a great color if you want to spend ten dollars on it I really I recommend that color too it's a pretty universal brown uh, the e.l.f. one here, I believe, is $3, and you can get it at Target. So, yeah, if you want to see how I fake my eyebrows, and just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to take that Milani Easy Brow uh, pencil in the color Natural Taupe and take the spoolie side of it and just comb through my brows. I want all of the, the hair to be going in the same direction. And I'm sorry that I'm angled kind of weird here, but I do turn my head to where you can see what I'm doing. But I am just tracing a line right now, like you on the top of the brow, and then from the inner corner of the brow out. Just filling in the the sparse hair where you know, the, well, the areas that have no hair, pretty much. And then I'm just going to comb through it again just to make sure it's blended well and it looks natural. And then any of the product that I combed away, I'm just adding it back in. Okay, so I'm going to take that e.l.f. eyebrow kit and a Sigma E55, no, sorry, E15 brush. I absolutely love this brush for filling in my brows. I prefer it uh, to the angled brushes. So I'm just taking a product and I'm starting at the bottom inner corner and I'm drawing as straight of a line as possible from the inner to the outer brow. And then I'm going to take a little more product and I'm going to work on the top of the brow, lining, lining it from the center, working my way out. I want the most product to be um, from the center out. I'm not going to put any additional product in the inner corner. That way it looks the most natural. And finally, I'm just going to take that e.l.f. eyebrow gel and apply it ever so lightly over the brow and then just push it in with my finger. Okay, guys, I did go ahead and do the other eyebrow. So I just wanted to show you with them both done. And what a dramatic difference it, re it is. And it's really simple. It takes practice. I know when I first started doing it, some days I would like, look in the mirror after it was done and I would think it would look okay and then I would be like whoa they were way too big um, so just practice doing it it's totally you know if you're if you're wanting like fuller eyebrows this is definitely something that I think anyone can do so I hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and I will see you guys later bye